day to all our learners, parents, and teachers from Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao. Are you ready for a new English 10 learning adventure? This is Tutor Guide Jedi from Santa Rosa National High School of STO Lapu Lapu City. Hold on tight as our E2A TV takes you there. A remarkable Wednesday Tutor Guide Jedi, Ka Itulai, and our dear wanderers. This is your tutor guide, Rem, from Basak Night High School, Lapu-Lapu City, teaching you virtually yet heartily. We are your tutor guides for this Eng English 10 learning adventure, where you can wonder as you wonder. Ready to wonder as you wander around English 10, where you can have beautiful learning spots, do treasure hunting, and earn challenge passes. So invite your friends, classmates, and schoolmates to watch this episode. Yes, yes, yes. Ready your ball pen and paper and have fun while learning with us. For today's learning adventure, dear wonders, you will get a chance to take three challenges and get 2020 token. How about that? Yes, you will be moving from one learning spot to another to discover about language of research, campaigns, and advocacies. Of course, we are very grateful to the Central Office SLMs from SDO Cordillera Administrative Region for their module as our main reference for today's learning adventure. Thank you so much. You have gone such a long way, dearest wonders. During the first quarter, you discovered beautiful eight learning spots. You learn about how to use information from various sources in everyday conversations, how to determine the effect of textual aids, how to achieve the writer's purpose, and how to compare and contrast the content of materials viewed. Yes, also our wanderers have improved in employing analytical listening in problem solving. They also gain tips in evaluating and making judgment of literary text. They also knew the elements in critiquing a short story and learn about the criteria in evaluating spoken texts. That means quarter one learning spots checked and understood. Now be ready to explore new learning spots in quarter two and do exciting challenges as we start our learning adventure. That's right, Tutor Guide Jedi. Dear Wonders, welcome to our first challenge. In this challenge called Which is Which, you are going to read and answer the question. And of course, be ready with your bullpen and a clean sheet of paper. Yes, indeed, Tutor Guide Ram. So let's start with our challenge. Our directions again, read and answer the question. Then choose the letter of your answer. Number one, I hope you're ready. Blank has ads that revolve around a single idea. Again, number one, blank has ads that revolve around a single idea. Is it A, advocacy, B, campaign, C, research, or D, advertisement? You have three seconds to answer and time starts now. You can do it. Time is up. The correct answer is letter B, campaign. And since you got the correct answer, you have a token. Congratulations, dear wanderers. Number two, and you will earn one token for this. It provides a framework in which processes of advocacy can be easily developed and enclosed. It provides a framework in which processes of advocacy can be easily developed and enclosed. Is it A, advocacy, B, campaign, C, research, or D, advertisement? Three seconds now begin. You can do it, dear wanderers. Time is up. And the correct answer is letter B, campaign. Good job. 
Great job, Wanderers. Let's now go to number three. For number three, it is a movement which uses the people in a given area as the basis for political or economic movement. Is it A, training, B, lobbying, C, mobilization, or D, grassroots? You have three seconds to answer. Time starts now. And the correct answer is letter D, grassroots. You got it right. You have a token. And now we're down to the second to the last number, item number four. This is an act to influence decisions made by officials in the government. This is an act to influence decisions made by officials in the government. Is it A, training, B, lobbying, C, mobilization, or D, grassroots? Three seconds, now begin. Very good, dear wanderers. The correct answer for number four is B, lobbying. Congratulations. And we are down to the last item for this challenge, number five. It is the other dimension that is based on fact-finding and provides the necessary knowledge to take action. It is the other dimension that is based on fact-finding and provides the necessary knowledge to take action. Is it A, advocacy, B, campaign, C, research, or D, advertisement? You have three seconds to answer. And the correct answer is, yes, it's letter D, advertisement. Congratulations, Wanderer. You nailed it, dear Wanderers. During the first challenge, you have one challenge pass and five, five token if you perfectly answered it. Good job. So now we are in our week one of quarter two. And here are the objectives for today's episode. One, define research, campaign, and advocacy. Second, distinguish the differences between campaign and advocacy. Third, enumerate the dimensions of campaign. And fourth, discuss the research process. Let's start exploring in our first learning spot. In our session today, we are going to know the language of research, campaign, and advocacy. Research? What is it? It is an imperative area in not just the field of education, but in other fields as well. Dear Wonders, Research primarily focuses upon improving quality and is a research for knowledge. And it shows how to make provisions of solutions to a problem in a scientific and methodical manner. Right, Tutor Guide Ram. And now, we are going to explore why language of research is important. Tutor Guide Ram, can you tell us why is language of research important of course life gives us good things but there are also times that we encounter problems and this language of research can help our dear wonders can help you understand research answers to important problems it can also help you read academic texts and test more easily that's so amazing, Tutor Guide Ram. And, well, dear wanderers, in our exploration today, in this learning adventure, you will be encountering these words in research. We have design, data, significance, evidence, treatment, experiment, conclusion, observation, and statistics. Let's get to know about these words. 
which are used in the language of research? The first term is design. It is to plan or a plan of how something will be made or done. The next is data. These are collected facts or information. And the third one is significance. These are important data and meaningful findings in a research. Should I guide today? Yes, design, data, and significance. Let's move on to another batch of words. We have evidence. In your research, you encounter this. We have to have this observation of information that can help solve a crime or show whether something is true or false. We need that evidence. Another, treatment. In your research, you will be using a treatment. What is it? It is the course of action designed for your research. And of course, we you get to know about experiment. Experiment is a test to see what happens when all the factors, the variables, but one is controlled, meaning there is a controlled variable, and that is experiment. Dear Wanderers, we're down to the last three terms. We have conclusion. It is a summary of what has been learned or shown at the end of a study. Take note, it's very important. Next is observation. It is looking carefully. Let me emphasize that. Carefully. It is looking carefully at something. And the last term is statistics. Can you repeat that with me? Statistics. You got it right. It is the organization and study of numerical data. Wow. Thank you, Titor Guide Ram. So now the question would be, what about the research process? How are our wonders going to do a research process? Again, we are talking about the language of research, my dear wanderers. In a research process, you always start with a question in mind. What is the problem? Why do you have to conduct the research? After that, you have to look into the procedures. How are you going to make your study? How are you going to make your research? What methodology are you going to use for your research? Then it would be data collection. You're going to gather the data and, and analyze your data. And of course, you have to interpret your data. Again, the third process is data collection, analysis, and interpretation. And the last part, we need to have findings. What findings do we get after our research? And that will be the time that you're going to make your conclusion of your research. Remember the four research process, dear wanderers, question or problem, procedures or methodology, data collection, analysis, or interpretation, findings, and conclusions. Thank you for that, Tutor Guide Jedi. Dear Wanderers, you've done learning about research, some terms related to it, and the research process. Now, let's study about campaign. It is a single ad or a series of ads that revolve around a single idea. It provides a framework in which processes of advocacy can be easily developed and enclosed. It has varying purposes that are created using similar structures as well as through the use of persuasive language in order to convince audiences to perform a certain function. Campaign, right, Tudor Guide Ram? Yes. And, of course, talking about campaign, we have five dimensions. Again, five dimensions of campaign. Let's start with the first one. The first dimension is awareness raising. Awareness. So this is intended to make the problem to be addressed, known by the general public. You have to let the general public know the intended problem yes 
And the second dimension of campaign is research. Yes, you have heard me right here, Wonders. Research is also part of campaign. It provides the necessary knowledge to take action, which many holders are involved for the complexity of the topics. Example, experimenting to come up with a vaccine to cure COVID-19. That is a very good research, Twitter Guide Rem. And I agree. we have the third dimension. The third dimension of campaign, we have what we call the social mobilization. Social mobilization are used by grassroots-based social movements and a tool for the elite and the state itself. It involves a lot of different groups like civic organizations, religions, and actions of members of institutions like mass meetings, processions, and demonstrations. Very good example. You know that right. It's EDSA revolution and the human rights rally. That's it. The fourth and the second to the last of the five dimensions of campaign, dear wonders, is what we call the training. It is a process focused on a clear and specific target, further develops the contents, the scope, and the vision. This runs in a midterm and long term scenario to get in depth into the topic and completes the information understanding cycle. The example, we can relate. For this example, Cheater Guide Jedi, training yes, yes, for yes. teachers to update them on teaching strategies. Yeah, we always do that, especially as I've been said. Thank you. And yes. we have number five. The fifth dimension of campaign is called lobbying. What is lobbying? It is an act to influence decisions made by officials in the government. This is very effective since it points directly to the legislator and regulatory agencies. Example, the politics of coalition building for democratic reform, a Philippine experience. That's lobbying. Congratulations, dear wonders. Research done. Campaign, you're done as well. And now we're moving on to this word, advocacy. It is an action for a cause or purpose such as a media campaign of a non-government organization or NGO that works for human rights to find shareholders and partners to sustain its activity. That's advocacy. Advocacy. Example of advocacy Twitter guide rem we have here self-advocacy. Self-advocacy. Self advocacy is to speak up and ask for what you need this helps you to take charge of your life and be more independent one very important term that our dear wonders tutor guide you guys should learn in advocacy is accommodations these are the changes that can be made that will help our dear wonders succeed or reach their goals so take note of that Accommodations. I remember that, Twitter Guide Ram. And of course, Twitter Guide Ram, the steps in requesting for accommodations. Here we are have... five steps in requesting for accommodations. Remember yes. the term FESTA. Face festa. the person that letter F. Yes, FESTA. Maintain eye contact. The third one S. State the reason. And the fourth one is letter T thank the person and to complete these steps we have letter a accommodation is used accommodate 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 i hope you got it festa festa indeed and that means to our guide ram our wanderers are ready for the next challenge we are now to our second challenge challenge number two what am i i hope you're ready I guess they are. Yes, for this challenge, our wanderers will identify the product 
for its famous slogan. So we have slogans here, and then you're going to think, what product is that slogan used? In this challenge, in this first five slogan, you have 15 seconds to answer. And time starts now. Okay, read and think for 15 seconds. What do you think these slogans are from? From what product are they used? We have, okay, time's up. 15 seconds done for number one. Just do it. What product is it? It's Nike. Wow. And you have a token for that. For number two. Lang hap sarap. Bida ang sarap. <laughs> wow. That is? Yes, of course. That's Jollibee. And you have another token for that. Number three. Obey your thirst. That's from Sprite. And then you have another token, of course. Number four. Have a break. Tutor Guide Ram, have a break. Have a Kit Kat. That's the answer. Kit Kat. Wow. Congratulations. And number five, we find ways. This is very famous. This is from BDO. You have another token for the next uh, five products. Tutor Guide Ram, will you do it? Good job. Yes, Tutor Guide Jedi. I think our dear wonders are having fun. Now we're moving down to the sixth slogan finger licking good you have 15 seconds for that so before i read all the rest of the slogans let me remind our dear wonders that for these last five slogans they are given 15 seconds right shooter guide jedi yes 15 seconds to think of the product for number six to number ten shall i start timer the timer start now yes you can do it dear wonders read the slogan yes. and think what is this mm. product think 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 you have seven seconds left oh five four three two one time is up number six finger licking good at kfc there wow, you go. It's KFC. <laughs> <laughs> they have a token. Number seven. Yes, one token for that. And for the next, we have inspire the world, create the future. Huh, Samsung. One token yeah. for that. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Number eight. This changes everything, not most everything. One token, and the answer is iPhone. All right, number nine. This is the second to the last slogan. Impossible is nothing. And for one token, the answer is Adidas. And we're almost done for this challenge. Let me read the last slogan. To inspire and nurture the human spirit, one person, one cup, and one neighborhood at a time. I think this is a teacher's favorite. <laughs> Yay! Copy. Coffee, Starbucks. Congratulations, dear wonders. Shooter Guide Jedi. Yes, yes, yes. I'm sure our wonders got 10, 10 token for that, Shooter Guide Ram. And also, since yes. they have passed the challenge, they got a badge. Congratulations, dear wonders. You did a great job. Yes, yes, yes. Great job. And mm -hmm. wow, we are down to challenge number three. This time, let's have our post assessment. I hope you're ready. Ready? Let's start. Let me read the directions. Dear Wonders, you are going to read and answer this question. Number one, it is a political tool by which an individual or group aims to influence public policy and resource allocating decisions within political, economic, and social system and institutions. It is a political tool by which an individual or group 
aims to influence public policy and resource allocating decisions within political, economic, and social system and institutions. You have three seconds. Let me read the options. A, advocacy. B, campaign. C, research. Or D, advertisement. Three seconds. Now begin. You can do it. Go, go, go. Time is up. The correct answer is letter B, campaign. Congratulations, dear wanderers. Great job, dear wanderers. And I'm sure you are ready for number two. Number two. It is used by grassroots-based social movements and a tool for the elite and the state itself. Mm, it is used by grassroots-based social movements and a tool for the elite and the state itself. Is it A, training, B, lobbying, C, mobilization, or D, grassroots? You have three seconds to answer. And time starts now. Three seconds. I'm sure you can answer this one. Yes, the correct answer is letter D, grassroots. And you get a token. Congratulations, Wanderer. Number three. This is a process focused on a clear and specific target. Let me read again. This is a process focused on a clear and specific target. Is it A, training, B, lobbying, C, mobilization, or D, grassroots? Your three seconds now begin. You can do it. Three seconds is up. The correct answer is letter A, training. We love this, Shooter Guide Jedi. Yes, One yes, yes, for that. Guide, um, For number four, this involves a lot of different groups like civic and religious organizations, particularly the members of institutions. Again, for number four, this involves a lot of different groups like civic and religious organizations, particularly the members of institutions. Is it A, training, B, lobbying, C, mobilization, or D, grassroots? You have three seconds to answer and time starts now. Three seconds. And... The correct answer is letter A, training. Congratulations, Wanderer. To complete this challenge, we have this last item, number five. It includes many different stakeholders involved for the complexity of the topics usually chosen, like academic partnership with universities and field data and interviews. Is it A, advocacy, B, campaign, C, research, or D, advertisement your three seconds now begin go 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 dear wanderers time is up the correct answer is a advocacy good job dear wanderers wow wanderers congratulations i'm sure you got five five token and you got a badge for that congratulations once again Yes, Tutor Guide Ram, our Wanderers already finished the three challenges. It means they got three challenge passes and a total of 20, 20 token. Great job. Amazing, Wanderers. Congratulations. Good job, dear Wanderers. You are almost there. Remember, learning the language of research can help you understand research answers to important problems. And there are several reasons why research results can be misleading. So take note of these reasons. First, there may be flaws in the research design. Next, researchers may make mistakes during the experiment or when analyzing the data. And third, they may even be biased, you know, wanting certain results so much that they influence the results. Yes, please take note of that, dear wanderers. And also remember that campaigns use persuasive language in order to convince audiences to perform a certain function.
and also the five dimensions of campaign. We have one, awareness raising, two, research, three, social mobilization, four, training, and five, lobbying. Of course, we also learned today, please remember, advocacy is an action for a cause or purpose. You can make your own advocacy, remember that. And advocacy and campaign are sometimes seen as synonymous term. Do you know why? It is because both are terms for all forms of influencing or convincing others. So when you influence or when you convince others, sometimes you can use a campaign or make your own advocacy. Dear Wanderers, Shooter Guide Judai and I are giving you this souvenir. You are going to create an ad for COVID-19 prevention in a poster with a slogan. You have to use clean sheet of but paper for your poster and use the rubrics as your guide for making your poster. Chitter Guide Jedi will explain to us the rubrics. Go ahead, Chitter Guide Jedi. Yes, yes, yes. A poster with a slogan. And these are the things that you have to remember. Take note of the required elements. And you also need to put labels, the graphics, and the relevance of your graphics is also counted attractiveness it should be attractive and most especially please check on your grammar he these are the rubrics for your poster with slogan yes tutor guide rem before we will end our episode today we have to thank our references for today's session thank you so much especially to cambridge and canva thank you so much Yes, and dear wonders, we would like to encourage you to answer this feedback form. You may either screenshot this QR code or use this link. Your voice matters to us so that we can improve in giving you worthwhile lessons. So thank you so much for honestly answering this feedback form. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you so much. Dear wanderers, I hope you have had another wonderful learning adventure. This has been your tutor guide, Jedi, reminding you all to be judicious in learning the language of research, making campaigns, and creating your advocacies. And this is your tutor guide, Rem, teaching you about the language of research, campaigns, and advocacy virtually yet heartily yes see you next wednesday same time same channel god bless us all let us say bye for today to say hi next wednesday goodbye, goodbye.